This week we wanted to talk about some femoral acetabular impingement. And this is a hip dysfunction where the femur butts up against the acetabular brim right here. And the most common complaint is kind of this groin pain, okay, or pinching in the groin with various squatting or squat-like tasks. As the leg comes up like this, it needs to have room in the socket. If there's some uneven pull, if it's getting pulled too much inwards, it's gonna butt up against the, the acetabular rim right here. And given enough time, it can cause some labral derangement or some arthritic changes in there or some bony outgrowth right here. And that can end up being a surgical case. So I've got some footage with a young lady we're working with and she's young enough that we caught it soon enough that she's gonna have ample time to be able to work on it and she's gonna be fine but we go through some exercises that are very important for her to work on and might be very beneficial for you. So stick with me. All right, so we're looking at a good clean case of femoral acetabular impingement. And I'll go over on the chalkboard and draw you my schematics on what femoral acetabular impingement is for her. But our metric for looking at it is really just how far out we can drop the knee as it comes down through here, okay? And we'll come back and we'll re-audit this after we're all done. Now let's draw it as the hip socket and then the, the ball, okay, the femur, femoral head right here. If it's sitting like this, it's in a centrated position. It's getting equal pull from all directions, okay? And when it's centered like that, it's gonna have the best range of motion. Now, for any number of reasons, we might have like less pull from the lateral hip musculature over here, or more pull from the groin musculature right here. And that's going to cause the femoral head to be decentrated and move over this way. When it's like that, it's going to be butting up against through here. Given enough time, it's going to cause arthritic changes in either the, the socket or the femur itself. And we'll see those in older patient populations all the time. Uh, we've got a younger one here today, so we can prevent that. So stay tuned. So we're going to do some trigger point dry needling on her lateral hip. That's the glute minimus, the glute medius and the piriformis right in here that we're going to be aiming for. So I'm going to use one of these uh, longer myotech needles on her. And you can see these just barely. But uh, we'll insert them right along the, right on top of the femur right here, straight into that glute minimus. And we'll hit a few other points into the piriformis and glute medius, and we'll run some, uh, some current through there to try to jolt the muscle a little bit to wake them up, to make them more engaged, more active, more trainable. So watch the needling technique for this. Okay, perfect. You okay with that much juice? Mm -hmm. You can see the good twitch going on there. Okay, so I'm going to go through this as we talk about it. But the exercise for this is going to be a couple parts. But we'll start in this DNS three month position, okay? That I've gone through before. Uh, but we're going to tip like a unit. As I tip past my balance point, I'm going to get support here at my elbow. I'm going to tip a little bit further. And my goal is to be able to maintain position through here but let my hip just gently come out. So I have to be able to let go with my groin musculature right here. I have to be able to maintain tension here and let it be soft here. You know, in TPI we call it dissociative movement. You know, in Chinese medicine you might call it yin and then some yang, you know, be stiff but loose here. And then we'll spiral over onto the hip and do our roll like this. Knees pretty wide, feet pretty close. And we want to have good pressure right here as we go to tip the barrel of the body over. Tip the barrel over, so to reach towards the right, good. This arm is going to come out and support right here, good. And we might tip just a little bit further for her good right here, hold this position. And the goal is to be able to just let go of this leg. Start to be relaxed here as this starts to open up into the open position here, elongating the adductors right here. Good. And then we'll spiral up onto the shoulder, nice. so we get good pressure onto the shoulder right here as she starts to create lift. Good. And we roll forward over the groin, 
We roll forwards, but maintain good lift here. Good. And then this is just an in office exercise that we might do for it, but resist my pressure as I push right here. So don't let me move you. Good. So I'm trying to push her hips this way. And she's having to dig into the knee for support. I'm going to tweak the head position. Good. Come back with me here. Good. Oh, yeah, exactly. Then resist my pressure as I push the head down. And you can see some upriding in the shoulder. Good. And then for more load, I'm going to push a little harder with the foot here. Good. And resist my pressure as I pull your wrist down. This way, fight me. Good. Good. Relax. And then roll forwards as far as you can. Yeah. And we get max closure over the hip joint right there. Good. Come back. Let's just do a re-audit. Let's straighten this leg out. And then let's just see how we've done this far. Cross the ankle and, and roll outwards this far. This far. So progress there. We're going to do a few more things and we'll retest that again. So exercise-wise with her, we started with the good intra-abdominal pressure creation and then being able to kind of tip the body and then being able to separate movement at the hip, to be able to have good fluid movement at the hip socket, really out of this three-month position right here, and then transitioning into this five-month position right here, and then kind of in some of the bits are kind of fast-forward a little bit. Uh, we went up into higher positions to help load it a little more, and we'll explore that more with her on subsequent visits. But that's our goal is to try to open up the internal hip, internal uh, adductor muscles and try to strengthen up the lateral hip. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Actually all done.